Hey guys, it's AJ here with Velvet Antler Technologies. Just wanted to take a couple minutes and do some how-to videos for you guys. One of our products, Velvet Clean, we've gotten a lot of questions on this. This is our premium taxidermy mount cleaner. This comes in a 12 ounce bottle when ordered. You also get a double headed embroidered brush with our logo, pins on one side, nylon on the other, and a terry cloth towel to wipe all your taxidermy mounts down with. So first step would be take your duck or deer or buffalo, bear, whatever it is that is a, a taxidermy mount that has been sitting around for a while collecting dust and oils and uh, bring it down someplace at eye level. It works best if we can keep it mounted against a wall so you have free use of both hands. So I'm just going to show you guys on this pintail here. This is an older mount that hasn't been cleaned in some time. You can see here, for those of you that duck hunt and know birds, this bird typically will have a really cool greenish mallard color here with some, with some browns and grays. Uh, and you can see here on this mount, this guy been, hasn't been cleaning in quite some time. There's a plethora of oil and dust and hair and some other things that have accumulated on that just being up on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So first of all, take your bottle of Velva Clean, adjust the sprayer to the on position, choose where you want to begin. Really doesn't matter. You're going to do the whole duck anyway. And uh, start with a light mist. So what we're going to do is we're going to mist this guy down. We're going to let it sit for a couple of minutes. We're going to take our terry cloth towel. We're going to support the feathers and we're going to wipe away all of the dirt and the oil and the grime that has built up over the years of this guy not being clean. So you want to take a look at this right now. You can see the difference here between the greens and the browns that weren't currently visible. So I'm going to continue that process throughout the whole thing. You can see here we've got these feathers now that are showing all that beautiful variegated color. We're going to work our way down again, supporting the mount, wiping away. And voila, dirt, grime, oil. This is perfectly natural with ducks, any waterfowl, bears, antelope. They carry a lot of oils in their skin and after mounting, they have a tendency to kind of release those over time. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue the process. All right guys, so I finished with the back side of this pintail. I'm gonna step around and I'm gonna clean this head and this bill. This thing is extremely dirty. It was hanging next to a vent for 15 years and has never been cleaned. So as you can see, as you zoom in on this head, there's a lot of cobwebs, there's dust, and there's buildup and there's grime. So again, same process. I'm gonna miss the head. And you can already tell right there just by the saturation, the, uh, the, the variegation in the bill that just came out from the taxidermy work. So let it sit, make sure it goes in there and, and starts to break down those oils and those fibers. And then again, with the terry cloth towel, I'll use a clean side for this one. Just very, very softly go in there and start wiping away at all that gross dirt, grime that's been built on there forever. the eye go back in make sure we get all the fine details it's all in the details with these guys so we're gonna come back now if you come look at this guy you can see now the color in the bill and the shine on the eye and all the dust and dirt and grime is gone all right we've done everything on the duck except for the feet the web feet are another part that have a tendency to build up a lot of hair and a lot of grime just because they do have some texture to them. So what I'm gonna do, as you guys will see from the close up, they're pretty hairy, they're dirty, and they're dusty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these and then I'll show you guys an after shot. And this is where this nylon sided brush has a little bit of coarseness to it, really comes in handy. As we just kind of get in here and lightly rub on here, you'll see that it actually starts to pull some of that hair and some of the residual off of that mount. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. And again, you want to do this very, very lightly. The goal here is just to get the particles off of the mount and try as little as possible to handle it. So here we go, done with that. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like.
Thank you guys for following along. That's a quick tutorial on how to use our premium mount cleaner, Velvet Clean. Velvet Antler Technologies can be purchased on our website at www.velvetantlertechnologies.com. We can also be found on YouTube as well as on Instagram at Velvet Antler Technologies. Thank you guys.